started speed work. Now this is our EC4760 project, Speed Zero. The purpose of this project is to automatically find the zero on a picture plate in the CNC. So if you want to go over here and take a look inside the machine, you can see that our project is right now is inside the spindle. And uh, the purpose of it is to align that spindle axis with the axis of that bore in the center of the fixture plate. The, this is a process commonly used in manufacturing when you're making a lot of parts off of uh, the same fixture plate. You want to zero off a core in the fixture plate. And uh, having this device will allow you to zero very rapidly and it removes the manual process that you want. So. so in terms of the mechanical design, basically we have like a 3D printed part with like um, places where our induction sensor and our camera can stick out. And so inside our thing, we have a PCB. Um, and the PCB is connected to the camera and the, the induction sensor. And basically, we have a PIC32 that's able to take readings from the camera and the induction sensor. And then um, we have a Wi-Fi module in there to transmit that data um, to, to our laptop, which is running Python scripts that are able to like read the data and um, also control the CNC machine over serial. So right now, we want to give you a demo of how it's going to work. So we set it up inside the machine. And uh, the first, first thing about running CNC is always safety. So get your safety glasses. Alright, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to tell the CNC to start a program, and that's going to be our zeroing program. So right now, the CNC is sending requests over serial to the laptop to say, hey, can you send me this program? The laptop will respond with the request saying, oh, yeah, here's the program. And so what this first program is, is basically an auto-stepping, let's say a calibration program, right? We're going to go take the uh, pictures from two different points, figure out the, from a known distance, and then take those points, figure out a rotational rotation uh, axis of the camera, and then we're going to go and use the second picture and figure out how to align the camera with the origin of the board. So right now, we can see this is the G-code that the program uh, output there, and so I'm going to move to X0, Y0, right, and now Ricardo is going to take a picture with the camera over Wi-Fi, so, and you can see that the Wi-Fi, it'll stream the data, it's a lot of data, you can't actually, it's, it, the pictures are too large to actually store on the onboard memory on the PIC, and the, doing the image processing on the PIC didn't make a lot of sense when you have to have a computer anyway to initiate this process. So. Yeah, so if when the image is transferred, I'll go to the next step. Okay. So then it'll move over a known distance to the machine. So move the machine there, so we'll take another picture right now. And so then, once it takes that picture, it will, uh, it will basically compute where it needs to go in space. And then we will send another request from the CNC machine for the updated program with the new zero. So I will send an updated request, right? It's now sending to the computer. The computer is going to send new G code back to the uh, back to the uh, CNC machine to help it orient itself into the axis. So right now it's going to. So it's saying it wants to move to G to G zero X one point four eight three five, and it wants to move in a Y direction of point one two two eight, right? And so what we did. So then that's where it thinks the zero is, right? And so what you can do is you can manually inspect, see how close that aligns. And right now it's not super close, but yeah, there's a lot of tolerance and errors in there. So you can also yeah. just like manually adjust using the induction sensor. Yeah. 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 So you can manually get a better zero using the induction sensor. And so the induction sensor works. The, uh, the CNC has limited capabilities for serial, so we weren't able to fully utilize the induction sensor in the automated process. But basically, the induction sensor works by basically kind of being like almost a binary switch, where you can move it over the part, and it will trigger when it's over the metal. So, uh, so you see how it's yellow there? That means it's triggered. So I will go here. I will move slowly and then I'm triggered. Alright, so I'm triggered there. So I can go here, I can go to zero set, 
I will set my set zero to be uh, I'm currently going to three. I'll cal zero right. Go back to manual mode and then go all the way to the other part of the circle. So then I'm at there, right? And then so then I will go to zero set, I will go uh, back to X and I will just do a uh, I'll set this to be about half of that. And then the camera, the induction sensor is uh, yeah, so I'll set it to be uh, minus one point uh, four five oh three. Right? So now if I go to Back to manual mode, go to zero with the induction sensor. You see that the induction sensor is basically zeroed on the part, right? But the induction sensor has about a uh, one inch offset from the spindle axis. So I'll move over an inch, right? And then it should be aligned in the x axis. Now zero right. Alright. So yeah. So we could have in theory done this all via just one script instead of having to manually do this. But the problem is that the CNC doesn't give us feedback as to when it's done moving to a certain position. So that's why we don't know that like when this sensor triggers at what position it actually triggered it. Yeah. So yeah, so that's our project. Uh, we hope you liked it. Uh, there's a lot of improvements that we could have worked on. Mainly doing the uh, computer vision algorithms. That was something that we didn't really focus on because this is we we're trying to mainly focus on the embedded system side of things. Uh, but yeah, we have basically almost a fully functional device embedded by us. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually in the machine and runs around and stuff. So. Yeah, the interface is also pretty easy for it. It's just one command to get a picture, one command to get a reading, and one command to resize your images. It's because we got the embedded side good. Yeah. It's just application wide mobile where it could be better. Yeah, so yeah, thanks uh, for checking out our demo. Yeah.